Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Matt Cutter, me and my beautiful wife, Veronica. Go out to garage sales, thrift stores, and the Goodwill bins like today to find things to resell on our eBay store. It is about 9.30 in the morning right now, so it's been open for half an hour. Hopefully, we didn't miss out on any great bins, but I'm thinking there's gonna be some good bins later on today, so hopefully we score good. Let's go. Please, God, be a good toy day. Wow, Code of Connect. We have uh, two of them out here. Oh, nice. Got an interesting Pikachu here. That's kind of cute. We'll grab that. Got a Cabin Patch doll as well. Any more Pokemon for me to grab? Pokemon is definitely the number one clutch thing to look for. It doesn't look like there is uh, anyone else. Maybe in this one? I don't know. Just a lot of Christmas plush. Some transformer stuff, but not um, a lot of stuff to move us up. We didn't find any toys in the bins early on in the day, but a little bit later we score massively in the media section. We thought they were originally going to be toy bins because they came out in the same exact crates, but they were media and it was a ton of video games and you're going to see the entire haul at the end of this video. You're going to want to stay tuned for this one because it's unbelievable. A rummage bin did appear and I did notice a vintage Rugrats figure, but that was really all that was in this bin. Not really worth much, but I do love picking up vintage toys. Huh? And here was the first of many media bins that had a ton of video games in them up here and I'll show you the entire haul and I'll show you the entire haul from this particular bin right now. Okay, here is the massive stack of games that we're able to grab out of that bin. So now we're gonna go and figure out which ones we wanna keep, which ones actually have their games inside and then what we're gonna actually put back. Okay, so we have a stack of sports games that we're not gonna keep because they're just not really worth any money and some of these are actually just empty cases. We did keep a few empty cases for games that are actually worth a decent amount of money. So here are some of the ones we're probably gonna keep. Fallout 3, Final Fantasy, Left 4 Dead here. Ooh, we have another one underneath there. We have Call of Duty 4, uh, Wii Fit Plus here. Uh, Halo Reach for Xbox 360. We have a PlayStation 2 racing game, V-Rally 3, Far Cry, SSX for PlayStation 2, great game, Call of Duty Black Ops. And we also have Conflict Denied Ops. And here are the other games. World of Warcraft, Catalyst here. We have Forza, Godzilla. This is just an empty case, so I got really excited for this one, but unfortunately just an empty case. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Assassin's Creed Rogue. We have a Guitar Hero, Legends of Rock, Just Dance 2017, We Play. We have Mercenaries here. We also have Grand Theft Auto 4. We have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. We have Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz for the Wii. We also have Shadow of the Colossus for PlayStation 3. Resistance, Fall of Man. We also have Lord of the Rings, War in the North. And then we also have Evolve for PlayStation 4. And the game that I was most excited about, Ultimate Spider-Man. Unfortunately, it is just the case. However, you can sell the case for a decent amount of money as well. But if you look in here, you can see, yes, it is empty. Very, very sad, but it does have the manual. So that is at least the bonus. So uh, I wasn't filming the last bit of games that we got, but unbelievable stack games. Also got some uh, DR tapes right here, sealed, which is nice for eBay. I can't even believe more kids. Kid, my wife just said more crates, so I can't even. Oh. Five minutes later. So it's been an absurdly good video game haul. Honestly, we weren't even filming the second part of it because they brought up more crates almost right away. I can't even believe the score. Like, just games you wouldn't even think were worth money, like this right here. Uh, WWE Raw SmackDown 2007 sells for like $40 to $50 pre owned. Unbelievable scores. We got Mario Kart. This is just the case, but there's actually Wii Resort on the inside, which is also good. There's just a lot of great games that we got got here i'm just super thrilled to show you everything once you get back home but we're still gonna be here for at least another half an hour so hopefully we find some more stuff and also some more toys a toy bin arrived and i noticed a ton of lego bionicle and also some vintage power ranger stuff and you're gonna see what we pick from this at the end of the video okay so we are done with the bins but we're actually gonna pick up a facebook marketplace deal it's a old spongebob set for 90 dollars sells for about 150 about 200 dollars on ebay it's the flying dutchman set super excited about this haul from today and this great addition to our Lego sealed collection. Oh yeah, that's a good score. Wow, uh, the most I think we've ever spent, I think it was around $40 we spent at the Goodwill bins. So it was around 30, 31 pounds-ish. Uh, might've been a little bit less than that. But holy crap, this haul is insane. Now I separated all the video games uh, by make. I separated this one just specifically because I think this might be our most valuable game that we actually have. It's about like $40 to $60 pre-owned. 
We have some PlayStation 4 games here like No Man's Sky, Evolve, Helldivers. We have a ton of uh, DV discs here. These are pretty good, um, all sealed. We'll probably just lot them up on eBay and um, maybe get like 30 bucks for these. We have one Xbox game, Burnout 3 here. Not too bad. Um, honestly, it's a platinum hits one, which is like the greatest hits for PlayStation. So not super valuable. We got Monkey Ball around $10 pre-owned. Mario Kart, unfortunately, it's Wii Resort, which is also a good game. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might sell this case separately uh, on its own and then sell this with like a replacement case, Wii uh, Resort. Not bad, PlayStation 2 stuff, God of War. We have Beyond Good and Evil, disc only, not bad at all. That is actually a decent game. Oop, almost, almost spilled them there. Mercenaries here, we have Narnia, The Lion, Witch, and The Wardrobe. Godzilla, Save the Earth. Honestly, this would have been a super sweet game. It was complete, but we'll probably just sell it as a replacement kit for like $15 or $20. V-Rally 3 for PlayStation 2, missing its manual. We have Ultimate Spider-Man. This is the one I got the most excited about, unfortunately does not have the game, but it does have the manual. You could probably sell this as a replacement case for $20 because a pre-owned version of this can go for like 60 bucks. Now we have NBA Ballers here for PlayStation 2 as well, complete. We got two DVDs here, anime ones. We always love grabbing anime DVDs. Uh, Howl's Moving uh, Castle and Princess Minoke, both incredible films. I highly recommend watching these. Uh, they're on Netflix as well. Uh, we have World of Warcraft Catalyst, complete PC game. It is pre-owned, but not bad, these can sell on eBay. We have a stack here of PlayStation 3 games, Resistance Fall of Man, Burnout Paradise. We have Hunted, The Demon's Forge. We also have Shadow of Colossus Icon Collection. We have uh, Grand Theft Auto, Episodes of Liberty City, and Grid Auto Sport as well. And we also got a board game on top of that, which is sealed, pretty sweet, brand new, sells around $20. And we have a gigantic stack of Xbox 360 games. Dragon Ball Z, Ultimate Tank Achieve, War in the North, Lord of the Rings. Then we got Fallout 3, Perfect Dark Zero. This is actually the limited collector's edition. Very cool in the metal case. Godfather 2, Grand Theft Auto 5. We have Ultimate Alliance here. Grand Theft Auto 5 again. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. We have Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Left for Dead. And we have Forza Motorsport. We have Conflict Denied Cops. We have Grand Theft Auto 4, we have Fallout 3, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2, we have Halo Reach, and we also have UFC Trainer 4 Connect. A crazy, crazy video game haul. Now, let's take a look at everything else we have here. We have some Lego, this we also got on Facebook Marketplace. We have some Bionicle stuff. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get all of it. Someone else grabbed the other pieces, which does kind of suck, but I think we have some value here. We have some Lego Duplo pieces, because we always grab this and then lot it up and it sells very fast. We have some hats here like an Angels hat, New York Yankees. Well, we also have a John Deere hat. We have an Atlanta hat here. And we also got an LA hat. So two New Era hats, which is not too bad. We have a bunch of random toys here. Rugrats toys from the 90s, pretty cool. I'm not sure how much this sells for yet. If I find a sold comp, I'll show you guys on screen. Just some random toys here. So like some Power Rangers or Superman, some uh, LOL dolls that we're gonna give to our friend. A bag full of Pokemon toys, which is not bad. Uh, probably bring this to a toy show. Pokemon here, we got more Pokemon. We have a Pikachu here. Uh, I think this is like a fanny pack, which is kind of cute. Maybe uh, my wife will wear this on a toy show. Uh, we have an Eagles jersey. We actually bought this off someone for 20 bucks. They didn't want it. It's not in the best condition, but it is pretty new. Jalen Hurts is obviously the quarterback right now for the Eagles, so that's pretty sweet. My wife picked up some Air Force Ones. Uh, they're a little too big for her, but we can wash these up, maybe sell them for like $30, $40. We have a Canon bag, which is good for obviously Canon cameras. If someone wants this for their camera, it actually is a pretty good fit, obviously being Canon. So if you have a Canon camera, a great matchup right here. Honestly, this bag, they can probably sell for at least $30, $40. I found some Lululemon pants. And I was like, hey, you know what? This is for your uh, store, your Poshmark store, Veronica. She's like, no, you know what? I'm gonna wear these. So, okay, that's fine. She can wear them. We also have some Power Ranger stuff, pretty vintage. This is actually from 2001, and you can sell just pieces for like $30, $40. And this is another old Power Ranger toy from 2003. Honestly, they're super heavy. So this is a gamble. If we can't sell them on eBay, I might have to bring them to a toy show. They're actually a pretty good eye candy for like a, a display. Wash these up, obviously they have a lot of dust. They're very old. But if we sell it for what I think we can sell for just based on parts, you're looking at least $65 here, maybe $50 here. So it's about $115. Unfortunately, weight-wise, they probably were like a third of the weight of everything that we got. So we probably paid at least $3 each. 
So $6 with both of these, but we can potentially turn that into $150. So overall, I think it was a pretty good day at the Goodwill bins, but let me know down in the comment section, what was the best thing we bought today? I want to say it's a SpongeBob set, but that was on Marketplace. From the bins, I think the video games is probably our best score. But if you guys enjoyed the video, obviously hit that like button down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. And remember guys, may your carts always be full.